Hey, Sarian here. Today we're checking out the demo for A Space for the Unbound by Mojigan Studio. This is a slice of life adventure game set in the late 90s in rural Indonesia. This is a story about overcoming anxiety, depression, and the relationship between two high school sweethearts, a boy and a girl with supernatural powers. A Space for the Unbound is available on Steam and I'll leave a link to the store page, so you can get updates for the full game. Alright, I'm excited. Let's begin. It was a cold night. The South Star Princess was weak, and the cat was worried. <laughs> oh my god. Meow, Princess! You look sick like sick mouse. Are you okay? The cat meowed. The princess looked up to the night sky and thought, It's time to say goodbye. To leave the world behind. Oh no. <laughs> I have something from you, my dearest friend. A parting gift. I'll show you my last miracle. Something was shining bright on the palm of her hand. It was the miracle. The cat was stunned in awe, but it cried too. Oh, Meow Princess, please no do that. I don't want to let Nya go, the cat meowed. The princess just smiled and stared into the cat's teary eyes. Everyone else just wanted my miracles, but you're the only one who stayed afterwards. <laughs> Thank you for being my friend. Snap, I, I can't... Me neither. <laughs> it was bright and warm. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scattered to the sky above. But her light stayed within this pretty yellow flower. Left behind and alone, the cat hugs the flower to itself. <laughs> oh, princess, the world doesn't deserve you. I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Co-Writer? It was great. Your story was so touching, and I can't wait to listen to the rest of it. The world, the adventure, and the characters, I love them all. Oh, my god. I bet the princess, I love her the most. Oh, phew. I'm glad you liked it. I was kind of worried and not really confident about it at all. At first, I was going to make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away. And then she would have destroyed the planet and devoured all the creatures that stole her miracles. But that would be a brutal way to end the story, so I decided to scrap that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's too violent and doesn't fit you at all. By the way, where did you get the idea for the comet? Well, it was last night. I was really upset and worried. And I looked outside the window for inspiration and suddenly saw a beautiful comet flash across the sky. Ah, oh, jeez. I was just awake last night. But still, I can't believe it ends like this. What a sad fate for the South Star Princess. Do you want to hear the final chapter? Final chapter? There's more of it? Yes. It'll be like an epilogue, but we can think of it as the final chapter. I wanted to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat will... um... The yellow flower. They're about to... Uh, uh... Huh... Weird. Hmm? What's wrong? All of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind's gone blank. It was on the tip of my tongue. Hey, why don't we try to get out and get some fresh air? It may help you clear your thought. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. I, I can't take it. Alright, can we sprint? Oh man, where are they? This looks very abandoned. I can talk to you. 
Like you said, let's go outside and get some fresh air. Alright. God, this looks amazing. How about now? Feeling any better? Um... I don't know. What happened? Do you have writer's block? I don't know. It feels like there's something dark and scary. It's making me too afraid to continue and find out what kind of story I wanted to tell. Hmm. I think that's definitely writer's block. Hey, maybe it's time to use the magic red book. The magic red what? The magic red book. Have you forgotten about it? The book which contains a spell to dive into our deepest heart and get rid of its turmoil. <laughs> what? Oh, that red book. Yeah, we've used it now and again. Where is it? Um, I think I figured out where I put it. I'm sorry, I'm so careless. Hey, no worries. I hope you look for the magic red book. Ah, uh, I... Maybe I put it somewhere around here. Can you look for something red? Okay, I'm on it. Oh my god, I love this so much. <laughs> I really love that pixel art. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for pixel art. Double tap directional key to run. Oh, okay. Nice. I thought we were a slow walker forever. Now... I always want to check what's in this direction. You know what's weird? It's like... Here, it's like... When I go near the door or something... There's like a little line. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Hey, where are you going? Ah, oh, my bad. I was just checking. It's like a TV screen. Like a CRT. I found a red book. This must be the magic red book. Nice. Yeah, god, that's so pretty. Here we are. Hey, is this what you're looking for? The magic red book. You found it. Go on then, try to use the book. But I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, you. Oh, you. <laughs> Can you help me, dear magical Mr. Co writer? Please, 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 please. <laughs> Whoa, calm down. Okay, I'll help. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. When you see it, you just have to open the book. See it? See what? You'll see a dancing flower above someone's head. Dancing flower, huh? Yeah, believe me, that's the power of the magic red book. And then you just open the book. Is that it? No dancing or chanting required. Yeah, it is. Hurry up and just try it already. Alright, we're doing this to get rid of whatever it is you're scared of. And to find the final chapter that I wanted to tell. <laughs> I really love this dialogue. Oh my god. Whoa. What? Oh, hey. Are these like yellow petals? What's up? I'm scared. I'm just too scared to think about the final chapter, to look for it. I'm afraid to find out what lies beneath. What if it turns out bad? Everyone will think I'm a weirdo. Just think, I've never finished anything before. This final chapter, will I ever be able to finish it? Hmm. Is that the flower? I picked up a key. I wonder what door it opens. Does this look familiar to you? Nothing happens. <laughs> I can't use the key on her.
What is going on over here? What are they laughing at? Weirdo, that is the stupidest thing I've ever read. What the heck? It's a wing waste of ink and paper. But they're being so mean. It was bright and warm. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust. And was scattered into the sky above. But her light stayed within this pretty yellow flower. Oh. Is that the rest of it? I had an idea. It might be useful. Alright. Let's bring this back over to them. This story... I'm still afraid. But this... Should I? Should I tell the story? Should I finish it? Yes, this could be it. <laughs> Whoa, I just realized how far we've walked. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It is. It feels like I'm walking in outer space, kind of like an outer body experience. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for when you use the magic red book. <laughs> I think space dive sounds cool. What do you think? <laughs> space dive? Hmm. That sounds cool. And informative. Yeah, you're diving into the space of my heart. So, space dive. And does this space dive ritual actually help? Yeah. I finally decided what the final chapter will be. Oh wow, cool. For real? Yeah, it's the big blue star. The... big blue star? Yeah, the big blue star. It called her. When the South Star Princess died, she wished to return there, to the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one to escort her back. Exactly! Oh wow! That sounds like it'll be an exciting adventure to draw on right. Mr. Co-Writer's insight is, as always, extremely helpful. Nah, don't mention it. You're the one who came up with the Star Princess's story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story. We made it together, right? Well, if you say so. So, then... Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! To the final chapter. Yeah, the final chapter. Is there anything else we need to finish the story? Yeah, all we need to do is build a spaceship. Whoa, a spaceship? Yeah, the cat will escort the yellow flower to the big blue star with the spaceship. And the good news is, I've already built the ship by myself. What? When did you... Can I see it? Where is it? <laughs> I've been working on it for the last three weeks, right after school. It was supposed to be a surprise for you. And of course, I built it in my super secret workshop across the river, so you wouldn't find it. Crossing the river by yourself? That's so dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and forth loads of times now. And look, I'm still here, aren't I? Anyway, I need something important to finish the ship. Something with magical power to propel it through space. And that thing is... Of course, the Star Princess's magic wand. And... I left it at home. Oh, well, that sucks. Should we go and pick it up? N no, I, I can't go there right now. My house is... No good for now. My father, he's... Hmm. Hey, don't worry about it. The magic wand is in your room, right? I'll go get it. Uh, is that really okay? I mean, you've done so much already. And if someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. No worries. I'm stealthy like a cat, you know. I'm sorry for making you do all this. Seriously, don't worry about it. I'll help as much as I can, but... 
You have to promise me you won't cross the river by yourself. We started this together, and we'll finish it together, okay? Yeah, you're right. I promise. I'll be waiting for you. Wow, I could... <laughs> this would make a really great background. Do you remember where my bedroom is? My room's on the second floor, and the magic wand is somewhere on my table. Oh, one more thing. If you had lost my cat Bosque, why, why, copy that. I'll help, it'll help us. Good luck, I'll be waiting for you here. You should wait for me at the base camp. It's quite dangerous to wander around here. Hmm, I guess you're right, but the air is so nice and fresh here. It might give me some inspiration for the final chapter. Alright, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, one last thing. You said that already, you know? Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. No, that's not it. I want to say something else. What's up? Thank you for everything. You're the best co-writer I've ever had. Aww. <laughs> No need to be so melodramatic now. I'll be back soon. Alright, Basque, let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, can I pet it? Yes! Oh my god, how many cats are here? Alright, let's go. Alright, kitty cat, you can pick up the pace, can't you? <laughs> I don't want to leave it behind. Come on. Oh. Who's that? Oh, hey, kid again. Oh, mwah. <laughs> oh my God, there's so many of them. Hey there. Hey, slow down, dude. The traffic's bad enough as it is. You want me to hit your fancy car, huh? Ah, uh, these dudes. Delicious... Simul? Kimmel? Huh. Can I get some? Chimmel, maybe. Hmm, maybe I should change the name to something more attention grabbing. I love a spoonful of that hot sauce. Pfft, just one? Give me two spoons, I like it spicy. But that's tomato ketchup. It looks like hot sauce. That still counts, right? <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go, kitty cat. Oh, hey, dude. Behold, the great comet of doom has torn up the sky. The stars are dying, our sky is falling. What is this dude talking about? Oh, wandering soul, have you seen last night's news? The comet of doom has finally come. Don't you want salvation, my dear child? For only one million rupias. <laughs> you can own this spirit-infused gemstone made from a meteorite. This gemstone is a holy talisman that will save you from the cataclysm. What? You don't believe me? How dare you? This gemstone was crafted by a, uh, ahem, the famous oracle, Jayabaya himself. What? No money? Well, I guess it is your destiny to be cursed then. Jeez, dude. Ah, 
What a bunch of bullcrap. <laughs> Sky falling. As if... Oh, hello. Kids these days are just the worst. Back in my day, we have to do whatever our parents told us to do. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Whatever, boomer. Hey. What's up, dude? What do you think? Nice jams. Huh? What? I'm, I'm sorry? This is Karen Chong beat. It's a mixtape I recorded myself. So what do you think? Uh... It, yeah, cool. Totally awesome. Dude. I know, right? Not everybody appreciates Karen Chong. Especially these days. It's an old music genre. Brought over by the Colonials and then perfected by our locals. It's soothing, you know? It's very mellow. A perfect companion for people looking to relax and escape the world for a while. Hey, you know what? You can take my demo tape. It's a gift. Huh? Oh, oh, oh no, you don't have to... Please, dude. It's such a rare occasion meeting a fellow Kevin John music fan, you know? <laughs> Besides, I can always make another mixtape whenever I want to. Uh, thank you very much, I guess. Alright. I don't really understand Karen Chung music, though. <laughs> it's okay. I'll totally just butcher everything. Oh. There's a sign of this ladder. It's property of a civil defense officer. Don't touch. Can I touch it? Hello. Are you enjoying the news? Hmm. In today's news, another interstellar comet has been sighted flying over the city. It's the third comet to be seen this week. Neither the government nor the National Space Agency have released any official statements regarding these peculiar events. Huh. Looks like the world's gonna end soon, huh? Lucky me, I'm already married. <laughs> uh, good for you. That's okay. You're married, the world can end. Hey. That girl. She was over there by the tree. Is that the same girl? Her house should be around this block. Huh? Uh-oh, somebody's here. Uh -oh. Hello, Mrs. Dowie. Are you going to the meeting, too? Why don't we walk over there together? Of course. Oh, you're not bringing your daughter with you? No. <sighs> What's the matter? Is there a problem? My daughter, lately she's been afraid of going to school. And my husband... Well, things aren't going well with his boss. He's been a little stressed over, well, over the money we've had to borrow to get in, uh, near Malat into school. And, and he's taking it all on, out on Nirmala. Jesus. Today she locked herself in her room and refused to talk to us. God, I really don't know what to do. Oh my, I'm so sorry to hear that. Why has she been scared of going to school? I don't know yet. I, I want to talk to them all about this, but I really don't know what to say. Well, why don't we go to the meeting a little early, and we can talk about this on the way. Y yes, yes, that's a good idea. Thank you. Don't worry. You can share your problems with me. That's what neighbors are for, right? God, that's awful. Gone, now's my chance. Is this the house? Hmm, this must be your house. Oh, there's the cat. The gate is locked, but her father is likely inside. It'll be dangerous to sneak through the front door. Maybe it'd be easier if I pretended I was here to visit her. 
but I can't risk letting her father know that she sneaked out of the house. Besides, he'd think I was a creepy high school student stalking an underage kid. This is all way too risky, but I have to get that magic wand for her. What should I do now? <laughs> oh, hey, Bosque. Hey, how long have you been up there? Oh, yeah, that window on the second floor must lead directly to her room. Now, how am I supposed to reach the second floor? I mean, if the cat did it, it probably can. Hmm. I might be able to reach the second floor if I could walk across this wall. But the wall itself is too high for me to reach. Hmm. If only there was something I could climb on. Let's get that ladder. Can I talk to this guy? What's he crying about? Busy. Oh, I'm always so busy and sleepy. Exactly what an exemplary low-paid civil defense officer should be. Sir? Well, if you're busy, you don't mind if I take this, right? Hey, kid. What are you doing with my ladder? I, uh... I'm just amazed by your ladder, sir. Wow, this ladder looks really strong. And, uh, chrome. Uh, have you been smoking something funny, kid? I hope you don't cause me any trouble, kid. Nobody touches my ladder. Can't you see that I'm already busy enough? I wish I... <sighs> could get some sleep, though. Damn. I could definitely use that ladder to get to Normala's room. Do I have anything else with me? Ooh. Golden flower. The magic red book. Is that useful right now? Maybe. We could use the cassette tape we got. And somehow... Make him listen to it. Crazy. Hello? Whoa, that flower is blooming. I wonder what would happen if I made all those flowers bloom. Oh, you need some shut eye. Let's turn off these lights for you. Oh, this is so loud. Shut that up if we can. Can't turn it off. What a strange clock. Hmm. Maybe there's something else I have to do first. What is that? I found a baton. Should I resort to violence? <laughs> You're just gonna beat the fuck out of him. No, we're not gonna resort to violence. Well, maybe. Just a little bit. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Uh... All right, the music. Nice. Mm. Ooh, this feels good. I'm gonna close my eyes just for a minute. I can. <gasps> the guy in. Aww. Me, 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 me. Oh, wow. He's fast asleep already. Thanks to this magic red book, I guess. You won't mind if I borrow the ladder then, will he? Time to pick up the magic wand. Yoink. Okay, let's go. Oh. <laughs> it's this way. I knew that. <laughs> this is so bad. Someone's gonna see us.
Hey, kitty cat. Thanks for your help. Oh, jeez, it's so quiet in here. That's very unnerving. Well, there's a wand. There it is. The Star Princess's magic wand. Shh. Quiet. Quiet, kid. I still can't believe she managed to come up with all these wonderful things. Normala, what a precious, talented kid. I got the magic wand. Ugh. Yeah. Brat. Open the door. You ungrateful waste of space. How dare you lock this door. You're skipping school again, aren't you? Open the freaking door. You're still freaking doodling and writing that stupid nonsense, aren't you? Have you got any idea how much money I have to borrow just to get you into a decent school? And this is how you repay me, you spoiled little brat. Oh snap, things are getting tense around here. I better get out of here before her father smashes this door open. Yep. Bye-bye. It's starting to rain. She should be waiting for me at the base camp. Ah, jeez. That fucking asshole. The road is closed due to... Residence activities. What does that mean? <laughs> I wonder if I could use this magic wand on anything. Oh, there, the cat. I was wondering where you went off to. That lady is gone. The rain is getting heavier. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope she's reached the base camp by now. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. There she is. Oh god, I... I hope she didn't cross the river by herself. It's over here. Okay. Uh, base camp. Oh, right. It's this place. The abandoned building. Hmm? Where is she? She hasn't got here yet? Help! What? Huh? Someone! Anyone! Help! Help somebody! What? That voice... Don't tell me. Oh shit. Go, go, go. Oh god, is she drowning? Dude, walk faster. Mister, help, help me. I, I can't swim. Namala. Ah, uh, help me, I can't swim. Damn. I can't swim either. Uh, hang on. I have to find something to reach her. J just come here quick, please. I don't think I can hold on much longer. I'm scared. Magic wand? <laughs> here, try to grab the wand. Uh. What? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Damn it. S sorry. I was startled by that thunder. Don't worry. I will get you out from there. Hold on. Alright, tr try to grab the book. Uh, 
Easy. Easy. Oh man, it's so slippery, ain't it? Just a little bit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, we're we're in there too. I I'm <coughs> coming coming to get Oh god We'll make it together Oh no finish. Right? <sighs> what? To her. I'm so sad. Prologue Atma. Did he die? Atma. Atma! Hey! Wake up, you lazy bum! He survived? Ah. Right, uh. What the hell was I just dreaming about? be continued. <laughs> oh man. the demo oh boy 
<laughs> that was so good. Uh, now I just wish it was much longer. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this game. I know the demo didn't show very much, but, but the full game seems really, really promising. That was really, really artful. I, I really prefer this art style over anything else, and, and God, I, in addition to this game, I hope, I hope I get to see more like this in the future. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys the demo for this game. I heard about this a while ago, but I haven't gotten a chance to check it out yet, so yeah, now I'm really glad I did. If Toge Productions sounds familiar to you, that's because uh, they're the devs for Coffee Talk, and uh, they're the publishers for this game, but Mojigan Studio is the developer. So yeah, I'm really glad I played this. Uh, you can expect me to play the full game as soon as it comes out. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, I have the link to the game in the description below. So... Remember to take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.